Thanks for coming back for me. I just stood up in front of everyone who matters in New York society and said I was dating Dan Humphrey. I committed social suicide for you. And Serena told me you've been having an affair with him. She misunderstood. <laughs> We've been friends. That's all. You have to believe me. You're the only man in my life now. The only man I want there anyway. I believe you. You do. But being together means going against my family. And if I'm going to take a stand, I need to know for certain that you feel as I do. I do. Are you ready to go public? My family be damned? I'm ready if you are. Know someone until you walk a mile in their shoes. Salut, Jean Michel. It's Serena Vanderwoodson from Paris last summer. I was with Blair and Louis tonight, and it made me think about you. I want to call you and catch up, and you know, see what's going on in, in your life and, and Louise. At first, it might not seem like the most natural fit. What's in there? So it used to be my sister's room, and then it was a nursery, then it was Vanessa's room, and now it is my office. It's a pretty versatile living space. Uh, you know, check it out if you want, but I gotta get this. Hi. I figured if you were beat, we could just hang here. Actually, I was planning on standing you up. I know you told Serena about the kiss with Blair. I was gonna tell you tonight to explain why I left the message. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I honestly thought something must be very wrong if you were kissing Blair Waldorf. And since you weren't talking to me, I thought you might listen to Serena. Vanessa, I know we've been friends since we were little. And we both like pierogies, and my dad really misses you. But just to be clear, so there's no misunderstanding down the road, we are not friends anymore. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But walk around in those shoes long enough, and you'll discover you just might like it. Your dad gave me these security tapes after the Kinberg building burned down and asked me to lock them away. This one's from 8 p.m. the night of the fire. What's on it? Bart. Having an argument with a woman, Avery Thorpe. Then Avery goes into the building alone, and Bart hurries away. Okay. So? Moments later, the building goes up in flames. And Avery Thorpe is never heard from again. Don't get too comfortable, kids, because you never know when the other shoe is going to drop. XOXO, Gossip Girl.